Hands-on exercise number two. It's got a little bit of a curveball in it, so make sure you hear the entire description. But I want you to create a person struct and then create a font called change me with a pointer to a person as a parameter. So change me will take a pointer to a person as a parameter. Change the value stored at the pointer to the person address. And here's the important part right here. So to, to dereference a struct, and let me put this up here, it'll make more sense right there. Bam. To dereference a struct, use the pointer to the value with parentheses around it saying, hey, I want this to be dereferenced, and then the field. And then this is from the language specification that you could actually do it with just x.f, and it figures it out for you. I'll show you that in the solution. So if you try the solution and it's like, what? Can't quite get that. But basically, instead of doing a pointer, you know, instead of, instead of doing like when you have your value of type person, which will be like your value of type person will be like p1.first, right? And instead of saying, okay, hey, let's dereference that, you can either use p1.first or you could go p1 first because you're dereferencing all of that person, right, of type person, and uh, not just the, the first uh, field, the field, which could be an address. You're, you're not dereferencing that. Create a value of type person, print out the value, and func main called change main, and func main print out the value. All right, so let's do this. So you go try it if you'd like to try it, and uh, pause the video, go try it, and once you've done that, come back, unpause it, and here's the solution. So I'm going to come up here and launch uh, the Go Playground. Nice, nice, and uh, we're going to create type person struct, and in it, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to do first and have it be a string, and then we'll create a p1 colon equal person composite literal and first, and that'll be James Bond. And let's change this from first to name. Since we're not just using first, let's be precise. Cool. And then we could print out James Bond p1, and we're going to double that. Copy, paste, paste, because we are going to call a function called change me, and we're going to pass in the address of p1. Because we want change me, func change me, to take in a pointer to a type person. A pointer to type person. And then what we're going to do is we will have P and it will be first. And we're going to set that to Miss Moneypenny. And so we could either do it like that or, and I'll comment this out, we could do it like this. A pointer to P, or we're dereferencing, dereferencing P. So what's at this address? Then give me the value there and first, and uh, and then we'll set that equal to Miss Money Penny, Miss Money P. We'll call it Money P, so we can just see a difference. All right, let's just make sure I have that right in the notes. I have those in the correct place. I do. I was just checking to make sure it's dereference the value at this address. Give me the give me the value at this address, or whatever. So dereferencing that address, give me the value at that address. That's the right way. And then dot that field. Okay, let's uh, let's run it and see what happens. Format and run. P first undefined type pointer to person has no field or method first. That's because I changed it to name. You probably saw that and you're like, name, it needs to be name. All right, so we create a type person, a value of type person. We assign it to P1. We print it out. We get James Bond. We call change me, we pass in the address. This takes a pointer to type person, a value of type, pointer to person, type pointer to a person, right? So value of type pointer to a person. And then we could just do, hey, that person, the name is equal to this, and that gives us Miss Money Penny. Or if we wanted to, heck, we could run them both. We could uh, leave that and comment and run it, and it changed it to Miss Money Penny, and then it changed it to Miss Money P. And, uh, and that worked also. So that's from the language specification. There are some nuances, right? I've put that into the outline. That was a little bit of, uh, you know, um, something that's good to be aware of, something you probably would have figured out if you came across it. But uh, just wanted to make sure that um, I pointed it out because it came to mind for me. <laughs> All right, sweet. That's hands-on exercise number two. Taking an address, 
understanding like the pointer to some type, you know, sort of pointer to an int, pointer to a type person, and then also understanding that the asterisk is, uh, you know, dereferences an address and lets you work with the value at that address. Those are the important things to understand about pointers. That and method sets. If you use a pointer to re a pointer receiver, then it can only be used with values of type pointer. That's uh, that's also important. That's hands-on exercise number two. You've now reached ninja level level number seven. <laughs> Congratulations.